Happy birthday, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> yes, happy Thank birthday. Thank you. Yeah, it's, I appreciate that. It's going to be a big uh, celebration yeah, tonight. Yeah, we got a big weekend. It's going to be fun. Tonight, right. tomorrow, out at Ryman Auditorium. Uh, a few tickets left. Uh, best we can tell, uh, there might be some single tickets left for tonight's show uh, and maybe a couple of pairs, a couple of, uh, you know, you can get maybe two seats together. Yeah, if you, uh, if you act quickly. <laughs> yes, act quickly. Ryman.com is, the, of course, the website uh, to get your tickets. And it's uh, as fun as a Drew Holcomb and the neighbor show is. I'm I'm kind of getting the vibe that with, like, you're talking about a lot of special guests and stuff. Is it going to be, like, Drew Holcomb and, like, the zip code? Are you going to be bringing all kinds <laughs> of folks in? Or? I mean, yeah, we're bringing in a lot of people. We, uh, <laughs> we kind of bit off a lot here. We're, uh, so uh, both nights, we're, we're not doing any repeat songs. So we, we got a huge pile of songs. No traditional opener because I've got some special guests I'm doing something special with at the beginning of the night each night. Uh, we've got some of the special guests are from out of town. Some of them are local. Uh, all of them are good friends. We've got Grammy winners, songwriter Hall of Famers, future songwriter Hall of Famers, uh, and just a lot of really talented folks that, you know, you live in Nashville long enough and do this long enough, you make some pretty talented friends and get them to come up and be surprised guests at their, uh, your 40th birthday party. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> at the Ryman. And yeah. it's two nights, too. You yeah. know, that's that's yeah. so that's awesome. A double-decker birthday party. Right? right. And, and it that's sounds right. like I undershot it a little bit and Drew Holcomb in the zip code, more like Drew Holcomb in the lower 48, that's right? right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 We're, do, we're, going, we're going pretty far west with the, with the guests. So. It's going to be a <laughs> lot of fun, yeah. So, uh, again, now get your tickets uh, while you still can because there are just a few left for uh, tonight's show and tomorrow night's show uh over at uh, ryman.com but uh drew uh, again thank you for joining us uh on the day of a show which not all artists are, are ready to do that you know we well you know somebody said like hey do you, you know they can you come in around nine and i was like yeah sure like i know it's kind of early i'm like hey I, I'm, I'm in town i'm home i have three children i've been up since 6 30 <laughs> you know so nine o'clock is great all right, yeah. and and here we are. We're uh, we're a quarter into the nine o'clock hour. Drew brought his guitar, so he's going to play us a couple of songs as well as we get ready for the Ryman shows tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, so, which one do you want to play first, Drew? So I'll release a song that I released sort of during the pandemic, um, uh, a song about cabin fever. That uh, just kind of kind of a fun little song called "I Need to Go Somewhere," and uh, this is for everybody that's coming. Thanks for coming somewhere. Uh, to the show tonight, so it goes like this. Still stuck in this house with a mind full of doubts. Tired of staring out the window. Eating too much, drinking too much. Tired of watching the grass grow. Channel 2, Channel 3, back to Channel 2. I watched everything in my queue. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming. Need an RV, no plans, just you and me. I need to go somewhere. I'm still watching the rain, my kids are driving me insane. Another Groundhog Day routine. Stuck in my head, existential dread. What in the world does it mean? Month two, month four, I can't take it anymore. I got to get my feet out the door. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming Need an RV, no plans, just you and me I need to go somewhere Minivan, skateboard, cruise ship, submarine, DeLorean. On a horse, on a Porsche, on a boat with T pain. Swim like a mermaid, maybe all the way to Spain. Listen, Karen, I'll even ride on my rollerblades. Cause I need to go somewhere. I need to go somewhere. Oh, I need to go somewhere. <laughs> 
Lightning nice. 100. Yes, indeed. Drew Holcomb <laughs> joining us here in the Volume.com studio. And, uh, I mean, I love all of your songs, Drew, but there's something about uh, getting on a boat with T-Pain in as part of the lyric that it's just like, that's just next level, man. You know, that's so awesome. Always wanted to be on a boat with T-Pain. Yeah. You know, with the swim trunks and the flip floppers, trunks, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> no kinkos. No <laughs> My favorite part of the of this of the song is the Karen reference. You know, and that we all fall in love with that name. You know, right over over the last few years as this sort of pejorative. But uh, yeah, it was one of those ones. I was sitting in my. Uh, I had just gotten. I had just gotten over COVID. It was late 2020, and uh, I was in my producer's house, and we were sitting there talking about writing a song. And he had all these RV brochures out on the table. And I said, "What's up with the RV?" He said, "Well, you know, the kids are in remote school, and so I think we're just gonna we're gonna get an, rent an RV and go out on like a month long road trip." And I was like, "Man, I need to go somewhere." And he just sat back and he goes, "That's the light the bulb song going on right, right. right now." <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> and ta da! And of course, uh, you've been hearing that here on Lightning One Hundred. Uh, we've been playing yeah, that you since have, you sent it right. to us. So, uh, uh, so happy to have Drew Holcomb here in the Volume dot com studio again. If uh, uh, if you're not watching along, you can peek in, volume.com slash lightning100. We've got that uh, live stream, which, uh, speaking of which, yeah. uh, for those that are not able to be here in Nashville or, you know, maybe they can't make it out to the show or, I, I know we said there was a low ticket alert, they might be sold out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, folks can actually stream the shows coming up yeah, tonight gonna, and tomorrow, right? Yeah, we're going to stream the shows. We just announced it a couple of days ago. They, people can go to our website, drewholcomb.com, and watch them tonight on Mandolin Live. Uh, yeah, they're, we're gonna we're gonna stream both shows. I think they're uh, starting at nine, I guess, because the the opening set is not gonna be not gonna be streamed. But the the nine o'clock uh, hours or, or nine o'clock on will be will be live streamed. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're um, it, you know that was one of the cool things about the whole last few years is all this. I, mean, I didn't even hear about live streaming until nobody was allowed to go to concerts, and then we all picked this thing up. And so I thought, well, it'd be fun to keep doing it, especially for these shows that are not a part of a tour. Right. We're just doing these are kind of one off, you know. It's your birthday, man. Experience. It's a celebration. Yeah, it's yeah. celebration. So people who who can't make it to town, uh, we're doing a live stream. So if people want to join us, that'd be that'd be fun. And they can get all the information at your website. Yeah, drewholcomb.com. Drewholcomb.com. And, and and if you're not sure, there is no e there is at the no end e. of Holcomb. That's right. Yes. <laughs> no I, I learned that just very e. very early on uh, writing uh, writing copy for one of your shows. And oh, I was like, yeah. oh, no, that's that's not quite it. But so, and I've never <laughs> forgotten that. Uh, but again, uh, drewholcomb.com is the website, and folks can actually order hatch prints from the shows. Yeah, correct? yeah, we've got a nice. select number of hatch print. Uh, that but they let us pull aside for for live stream folks. So yeah, they can they can still get the the memory, the token. You know, there we you have go. like fifty of those in our house. I mean, not not all up, obviously. But I'm looking around this studio, like, like yeah, yeah, wallpaper. Like I got it the Ben Folds when you've got right there. Nice. We've got the Coldplay one, Grace Potter. We've got that Wilco one. Nice. Yeah. So and you have it set up kind of like wallpaper, like yeah, it is in here my, a little bit. Yeah, in, in my sort of writing studio space. That's where I, where I put them. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Drew Holcomb joining us here in studio again. Uh, the two shows tonight and tomorrow out at Ryman Auditorium to uh, celebrate Drew's 40th birthday. A lot of uh, special guests. And as uh, Drew mentioned uh, when he first joined us, uh, two completely unique sets. Not going to, no doubling up on any of the songs between the two nights. That's so. right. So if you can, get tickets for both shows. I have a feeling a bunch of people did that. Uh, but again, DrewHolcomb.com for all the information on uh, streaming uh, these shows tonight and tomorrow. You want to play another one for yeah, us yeah, before I'll, you I'll go? Yeah, I'll play one more. All right. Uh, so this, I'll, play, I'll play an old one because we're going to do a lot of, uh, we're going to kind of go dig deep into the catalog for these shows. Okay. And when I think about playing the Ryman, I always get pretty overwhelmed emotion, just with emotion because it's, such a dream to get to play there. I mean, when I came to town, my dream was to play Sunday Night Live at the old Third and Lindsley. Yeah, you know, and that felt like a huge mountain to climb. And so now to get to this point where I get to do things like two nights at the Ryman, or um, you know, there's so many things that I've got to do that I never expected to get to do. And this is a song that kind of throws back to the early days of when I decided to give this thing a shot. And um, uh, it's called Tennessee, and I think you guys have been playing the song for many years. Yes, so, indeed. Uh, uh, but here's a live acoustic version. Right. Drew Holcomb, live here in the Volume.com studio on Lightning 100. I was a boy, I didn't know nothing, didn't 
didn't have a care in the world I had innocence and ignorance of things I wish I still did not know No matter how far these songs Take me if my dreams come true Or the heartaches break me No matter where I make my bed I long for you Absolutely crushing it at nine o'clock on a show day morning. That's right. It's Drew Holcomb. That's right. <laughs> That's how he guys. rolls. That's right. And uh, we're going to be celebrating with Drew uh, his 40th birthday again tonight and tomorrow out at uh, Ryman Auditorium. Uh, sounding great, Drew. Thanks, man. Oh, thank you Appreciate so much it. for being here, man. Uh, so, and you mentioned uh, something special which I, we hear from a lot of artists, which I can absolutely, I, I'm actually, I'm grateful that I actually have made a couple of stage announcements, just like introducing bands, yeah. but to be standing with a crowd full of people at the Mother Church, it's a feeling unlike any other. So I can imagine uh, what you're feeling right now, being able to celebrate your birthday for two shows and have all these special guests and put together these special shows. Uh, but I'm curious, what was the first show that you ever saw at Ryman Auditorium? Do you remember? Yeah, I do remember. It was uh, Ryan Adams in 2003, I think. Okay. Yeah, and I got the. I didn't know the the back row of the floor was was as you know it was not the spot to be in. You know, right? Oh, because of the balcony. Because of the balcony. Right. So that was my first show there, and then I think my second was uh, was Prime. Nice. And then, nice. Um, my first date with my wife was Patty Griffin. No kidding. Uh, in in uh, let's see, that would have been May of two thousand five. Okay. And then once I moved here, I was just like. You know, all the time. But my favorite show I've ever seen the Ryman. I was at the Tom Waits show. Oh wow! And, um, that was really pretty special. Yeah. I, uh, I, it's kind of a funny story. I'll be quick, but uh, I didn't have a ticket because they sold out in like a split second. And we we just got married. I didn't. I, we, Ellie didn't have a job at the time. She was starting a school job like two months later. We had no money, and but I, I got fifty bucks and I went down to the Ryman. And I made a T-shirt with Sharpie that said "Real fan, please help. Need ticket." And just stood there because there are all these scalpers selling tickets for like six, seven hundred bucks. Right. And I'm sitting there and I'm losing hope. And all of a sudden, this girl walks up to me and she goes, 
um, name Five Time Wait songs. So I named Five Time Wait songs. She goes, are you a creep? And I said, no. She's like, I'll, I'll sell you my other ticket for 50 bucks. Let's go watch the show. So I got in the show. Wow. And so I called my wife and I was like, Ellie, I'm on a date with another woman. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just met her. I still love you, dude. Yeah, I love you. But I'm, but you know, so that was my favorite, uh, just kind of rhyming moment. But we've had, we've had so many good ones. I've seen a lot of friends there, gotten to sing there a bunch, you know, a dozen times and just love it. It's a magical place, magical man. Place. Yep. That's, uh, I can remember uh, the Foo Fighters uh, Halloween show is one that stands out. And uh, yeah. kind of to your point, uh, it was back uh, when Johnny Cash passed, and they put together this whole amazing oh, I show. This, yeah. And I, I mean, I, of course, I wanted to go. I didn't think there was a chance that it was going to happen. And it actually, I sold, must have sold under a lucky star, did something right, because about three hours before the show, I got an email saying, hey, call me if you want to go to the show tonight. So I immediately called and ended up being there for that show, which awesome. was just, again, the performances alone were just amazing, but it's like, Oh, there's Cheryl Crow. There's Chris Robinson. There's Al Gore. It was like it was yeah, crazy, it was crazy, you know. Yeah. But um, but yeah, always a, a magical time when you can see a show at Ryman Auditorium. And if you act fast, you just might be able to get tickets to either tonight or tomorrow night's show. Again, uh, Drew Holcomb. And, uh, well, we're just going to say a bunch of friends. Like the, the, pile of the neighborhood's getting guests. bigger for, the, for <laughs> these two shows out at Ryman Auditorium. Uh, and, again, DrewHolcomb.com. Uh, you can get information if you can't make it out or uh, if the shows are completely sold out now. Uh, you can live stream the shows, even order a hatch print uh, over at DrewHolcomb.com. But, again, Drew, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank bud. you. Thanks for having me in. I always, always love coming in. Uh, it's always fun to have you in. It's great to catch up. Great to see you. Uh, family's doing well, too. Everybody's Ellie and the kids great. doing yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. That was Absolutely. another one that, you know, got, got into, uh, I need to go somewhere, you know, yeah, that's kids right. drive me crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's just all part and parcel, that's I right. guess. That's right, absolutely. Uh, but uh, two great nights, Ryman Auditorium tonight and tomorrow as we celebrate uh, Drew Holcomb's 40th birthday and happy, happy birthday to Thank you, as I well, appreciate Drew. it. Absolutely. Yeah.